or hate them, bike lanes are here to stay in downtown Pittsburgh. In fact, the city announced plans to make permanent improvements to the bike lanes, particularly along Penn Avenue. Chris Hoffman's live downtown with what we can expect. Chris. Christine, we're talking about Penn Avenue from 11th Street up near the convention center all the way down to the point. Some of those changes will involve taking out these plastic little barriers and putting in more uh, permanent, stronger barriers like concrete to really divide the driving and biking lanes in downtown. The Penn Avenue bike lane has been around for about a decade and people are finding ways to bend the rules with cars and trucks parking in them. Over the past couple of years, it seems like it's really gotten worse and worse. This forces bikers out of the marked lanes and into the traffic. The roads are kind of, you know, it's a free reign for people to uh, you know, do whatever they want on their cars. Bike Pittsburgh has been advocating for safer lanes and stronger barriers. Now the city plans to do just that. They have already started the process of removing the plastic barriers along Penn Avenue. Bicyclists driving through there don't feel secure riding through those areas, and now we're making sure that they do feel safe. The $150,000 project will put precast concrete curbs between driving and biking lanes. Metal poles will also be installed to prevent vehicles from getting into the bike lanes. That would probably do it to keep people from pulling over. And to deal with deliveries for businesses, there will be loading zones by allocating some long-term parking spots into more short-term or delivery spots. Providing people with options allows for people of all different types to, to get around, whether you're walking, whether you're biking, whether you're taking the bus. The city says this work will be done overnight, so they're really not planning on any detours to impact anyone. As for a specific date, by the time this is all done, that hasn't quite come out yet. Again, that work has already started, so you'll expect changes as they continue to do work in downtown. Live in downtown, Chris Hoffman, KDKA TV News.